is a 6.5 control. This is the valve platform used in all of our 6.5 series machines. And right here is the injector block. This is the cap. I'll take out this 5 16 bolt here and here. They also have a Phillips head slot in them to make it easy for you. You can either use a regular Phillips head screwdriver and take these out or just use a light drill. I'm using just a light 12 volt electric drill with the torque setting at 50%. I'm working with metal bolts in a composite material. So I'm just going to set this torque setting down so I don't strip anything out. Slip these out real quick. When you do that, of course, all the pressure will have been off the system before you'd ever attempt that. If it wasn't, you'd get wet. Now there's going to be water and it's going to come out and depending on where you're at, just want to keep the work site clean. Just put a rag under that when you when you do that, pull it apart. Okay? This will come off this assembly. And it's going to be a lot easier to work on this assembly on the bench than it is trying to hold it up here in front of a camera. Now that we have the injector block assembly off, we've set it on our work surface so we can more easily get the throat and nozzle out of here. Take the cap off. Nope. There's an O-ring on here. Flashlight. See that? There's an O-ring around the outside of here. Make sure that stays in place. Make sure that O-ring's in good condition. Okay. In here is the injector screen. On rough water, say iron water, manganese water, that can get dirty. Any kind of dirty water, that's to catch small particles from getting stuck in the small orifice inside your nozzle of your Venturi system. So if that's dirty, you can clean it if you don't have a spare. I always say if you clean a dirty part, you're going to be back to clean it again sooner. Replace that screen. Keep these around as you prevent a maintenance parts and put a new one in. Just a best practice. These are threaded in here. I need two screwdrivers to do this job. A large blade and a smaller blade. Okay. Large blade. Slip it in here. Okay, and screw that out. It's threaded in there. All right, I'll move this over so as you can see that's threaded in there. These are color coded based on size. So, whatever size machine you have, you'll have the proper color in there. So, it may not be red, it may be white, it may be a multiple of other colors based on what the system is. But that's the nozzle. Now inside here is the throat. Get the flashlight. See in there that red? That's the throat. That's also threaded in. Take your smaller blade screwdriver, get it in there, line it up, and screw that out. quick trying to show you in the video all right once it's loose there it is nozzle throat color coded there's holes through these that hole has to be clean and clear again if these are plugged and you clean them with uh, whatever needle toothpick. Over 40 years I've seen everything used to clean these. Paper clip. You rough up the insides of these, they're just going to plug up that much quicker the next time. If there's something that can catch and you rough up the inside 
of these they're going to plug that much faster so replace them for this to go back together make sure you keep track of your injector screen again these are just threaded real quickly thread the throat back in Thread the nozzle back in. Now we'll go back and we'll install that on a control valve. Let me show you something. Look here. You've got three O-rings here. Okay. Make sure these O-rings are here and in place. And if they're damaged, replace them. Now that we've replaced our throat and nozzle of our injector, I'm just gonna pop it back in, making sure all my O-rings are still there. Just slide it up, injector screen. Make sure my O-ring was still on my injector cap. See how that's, see how that's uh, got one high side, so you can't get it wrong. All right, pop that into place. Your five sixteenths bolts. Our handy electrical helper. There you are. That's the injector assembly on a 6.5 control.